parents think I'm a weirdo I'm a god of war, you a guitar hero So let's box like Tyson, you'll get punched out What's up guys, Shad Juice here. We are at buybacks. I'm gonna do an experiment. Some guy told me he took um, 11 Nintendo games up here and got $83. So, I got 26 of them. Some decent stuff in there. Mario 3, Excite Bike, Punch Out, Turtles, Paperboy 2. So I'm gonna take these in there see what kind of cash offer they offer me just out of just curious I've never tried this before we'll see what they say I'll probably end up with the back with the box I'm sure I won't take nothing less than a hundred so let's see what we get all right so we're just leaving this shithole buybacks as I expected <laughs> let's see for this left stack here Paperboy, Mario 3, Excite Bike, Double Dragon, Paperboy 2, Turtles 2, Tetris, Gorilla War, Punch Out. Yeah. $34. Ain't gonna suck a dick with $34. But for three bucks, I bought a game in there. Gumshoe didn't have it. Three bucks ain't a bad price. Everything else is high as hell, of course. So, uh, yeah. Buybacks. Just not gonna rip you off. Peace. What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. Back at you with a, finally another episode of Video Game Finds. I got a ton of good stuff, man. It's been a while. I've had a uh, pretty good couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. Got some really cool stuff. Can't wait to show you guys. Got stuff from pawn shops, thrift stores, actually. Craigslist trades. This is a couple good trades. Let's show it, man. Can't wait. First up, you know, you see my little clip of the damn buybacks. Fuck that place, but yeah, I picked up the gum shoe for $2.99. I needed it for my black labels. Yeah, man, that place is something else. Only give me thirty, like thirty something bucks for them games, and then they one one of the games I had in there, they were selling higher price than what they were gonna give me for all of them. So, whatever, man. All right, we're gonna get to the pawn shop stuff first. I've been looking for this for a while, and I came across it finally. We got the Silent Hill uh, HD collection with Silent Hill Two and Silent Hill Three. It's complete. It was a really, really rough case, so I took one of the Burger King games I had and uh, swapped out the case, and so now it looks pretty damn new. I was pretty happy about getting that. Uh, same pawn shop uh, earlier in the week, I picked this up. We got a Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. One took your clever. She liked that sticker. It's only 10 bucks. It's 20 at GameStop. <laughs> well, it's really about 10 bucks on eBay, so yeah. I just thought I'd pick it up, man. I've got a pretty good uh, 3DS collection going on. But yeah, they, uh, like if they get Mario Kart on a Wii, they price it for like 25 bucks. Like, I don't. They used to be cheap at some of most of the pawn stores, now they're just getting a little out of hand. But I got these in one of my favorite pawn shops. Picked up a uh, Pokemon Sun for ten bucks, decent price. Don't have that one, so we're gonna be keeping that. And we picked up this Project Zone Two. I never played it before. Don't know much about it. It's like a fighter, I guess. It's got Mega Man and Ryu and stuff in it. It's not a. 
I pretty much paid retail for it, I think. But, uh, looking forward to checking it out one day. Next up, uh, let's see. Yeah, I got these two games at the pawn shop, too. For three bucks a piece. We got uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. And the Game Boy Advance. I was really happy to find this one. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission. There's two cool games to add to the collection. For sure. We're really looking forward to the Metroid games coming out on the 3DS and the Switch, man. This would be awesome. Uh, this was a pickup. This guy contacted me and... Uh, he asked where I was, and I was at a Walmart at the time, and he wasn't that far from it, so he delivered these to the Walmart I was at. I mean, some games I already got, so, uh, and they're handhelds. I didn't really want to pay a lot for them. I offered him 10 bucks. he took it. We got a Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance. Got Mario Kart DS on the DS. And the best one, uh, Pokemon Ruby version, and the save still works, so that's good. So yeah, uh, 10 bucks delivered to the store I was at, that's pretty damn cool. Happy with that pickup. Uh, this was a random, uh, what do you call it, thrift store pickup. We got uh, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories on the PSP. It's complete, it's got the map and everything in it. One bad for three bucks. I might already have it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh man, I got so much stuff to go through. I don't know what to do. For, do uh, next? Maybe we'll do some eBay pickups. Picked up uh, this Tony Hawk on uh, the Sega Dreamcast. It's the Sega All Stars version. I think it was probably about five bucks or so. Picked up a couple Xbox One games I've been wanting. Picked up uh, Monster Jam Crush It. Now, the Monster Jam games on the 360 were pretty damn good. So hey man, maybe the one on Xbox One would be pretty good. Absolute and other fucking garbage. You can't even control the goddamn trucks, man. It's just, you go up a hill and the thing's just fucking, it ramps off and goes all kinds of crazy ways and flips over and gets stuck and shit, man. It's really disappointed in that. I don't know what they were thinking. They didn't think or put any time to it. This game I've been playing a lot lately, uh, we got the Stern Pinball Arcade. I love playing pinball games. I've always been a pinball fan since I was a little kid. So this one's pretty cool. It's got a ACDC, Star Trek, Mustang one, which I like playing. You can read them all back here. Last Action Hero. Ripley's Believer or not? You want to pause that and check them out? They're supposed to be adding the new Ghostbusters uh, pinball on there soon. Looking forward to that. Okay, there's a couple pickups off of eBay. This one kind of pissed me off. Ended up picking up uh, Jaws on the NES. It was just a game in the box, right? Said it was in good shape. This is all I could see, like. But when I got it, yeah, look at the top. It's missing the flaps inside, and it's in really rough shape. I paid 13 bucks for it. I know it's not a whole lot of money. It's missing the styrofoam in it too, which kind of sucks. So, I really wasn't happy with it, but for $13, it wasn't too much to bitch about. And of course, they shipped it in a bubble mail or two, like usual. Alright, uh, two more things off eBay. Man, this was a hell of a deal. So, I'm uh, just looking. And I see something that says Madden, but I see what the game is in the picture. And this is what I see in the picture. The NC Football uh, 13 or 14. And this is a pricey game because this is the last year they made the made that series. Our college sport football game on the 360. 
So it's just a pistol just showed case and manual. I won this for three dollars and seventy seven cents shipped. Damn good deal. Now it got kind of sketchy because he never uploaded shipping. I messaged him and he said, yeah, man, I'm going to do it when I get off work. And it went on for about two weeks. I messaged him once. I said, he ain't going to ship it out. Maybe he figured out that he screwed up or something. But uh, lo and behold, it came in the mail today. It cost him almost three bucks to ship it. So there was no money made on this. But he probably thought it was just a junk sports game. And he listed it wrong. So I made out like that. I can easily flip that for 30 bucks. So that was... Uh, it's awesome when you can get something on eBay and flip it. I'm going to put this light on see if it's a little better. It's kind of dumb. Now this game, man, this excited me. On eBay, I usually don't buy anything. that don't have the real pictures of it. Like the people that will just put the cover of a game on there. Like lazy shit. You know, I want to see what everything looks like that I'm getting. But for the price, it ended up being 19 something shipped. I took a chance on it and said like new. <laughs> I couldn't believe what showed up in the mail. It was like a big package. I'm like, this can't be what I think it's going to be. And sure enough, we got the Zelda Four Swords for the GameCube. But it's the big box version. With the uh, Game Boy, uh, GameCube, Game Boy Advance cable. So you can hook your Game Boy Advance up to the GameCube. I just can't believe this man <laughs> still baffles me like it's just my lucky day I guess I'll show you uh, the inside there's a game in a really nice shape it's got the manual crispy the disc is minty this is awesome awesome I was not expecting this Here's the cable, still in the wrapper. Yeah, but uh, honestly, he probably could have got another $50 out of this at least, but you got to do your research when you're selling stuff on eBay. I just got lucky. And uh, the thing about this game is I had it before, but I thought I had the game, so I sold it, and come to find out, I never did have it, so <laughs> glad I got it back. And uh, it worked out in the end, huh? I think I sold it for more than 19 bucks. Alright, we got that put away. Alright guys, I'm trying to think where to go next. We'll get this one out the way. Uh, my CD Game Exchange got in a bunch of Super Nintendo stuff. And uh, everything is pretty much priced accordingly. But I did find this one. We got the King Griffey Jr. winning run. Not for resale edition. It says not for resale demo only on the top. For four bucks. I'd say it's about a $20, $25 game. I've never seen a not for resale game out in the wild. So definitely swoop that up. Let's see... I guess I'll share the other thing I got from there. Um, so I went in there and they had a 64 I didn't have. I've never seen it anywhere. And uh, they were asking 90 bucks for it. But he was like, hey man, I know you come in here all the time. And we don't really ever get a whole lot of games in recently. So uh, I'll let you have it for 75 I was like, damn, that's a good deal. I don't really feel like throwing down 75 bucks. So... Uh, I called later when I got home, asked if they can hold it, they couldn't hold it. And then uh, two days later I went in there I said, if it's still here, it's fate and I'm going to buy it. So it was still there. And what we got, as you can tell by this controller, we got the Pokemon Edition Nintendo 64. Now the only thing wrong out of all this is, uh, you can see it's got like a some scuffing right there on the side right there. No big deal, but the, the stick's tight, and the uh, system's in really nice shape. Oh, sh Hold on, we're knocking stuff over here. Here's the system. 
Pikachu on it. See, they had a price at 90. I like how his little cheeks light up red when you got it plugged in, too. Maybe there's a little mark here. Ah, that might be tape. It'll come off. But yeah, it's in really nice shape, guys. So now I got... Got the ice blue, the fire orange, the watermelon, the jungle green, and now the Pikachu. So I need two more of the Fantastics. That'd be awesome. And I guess, what is there, the gold one after that? Definitely happy to add that to collection. I couldn't pass it up. 75 bucks, that's like a $50 discount for real. I mean, they go for about 125 usually. All right, uh, let's do some trades, man. Got a couple trades here. We started some in our little text group, you know, with Ty White and BC and Power Player Paul and Chris Miller and all them. Hive G's. I came up with an idea that all of us could, should write down, like, ten games that we're looking for. You know, because sometimes I get lots of games, and then by the time I put this video out, I done sold half of them or something because I already had them. And then come to find out somebody in the group needed it. So, uh, me and BC did a couple, uh, we did a trade and, uh, I got a couple games off my list. He sent me a surprise game, Godzilla. And, uh, so we ended up making a trade. I traded him, uh, it's a Super Nintendo RPG. It was about a $50 game. I can't remember. But, uh, Make sure you go check out the Bad Company, man. Bad Company, BC, my boy. I'll leave the link in the description. But uh, he traded me Contra 3. I've been after this for a long time. Finally got one. Thanks, bro. And uh, he also threw in uh, Spiritual Warfare on the NES. It's an unlicensed title, but I didn't have it, so that's awesome. Thanks again, man. I appreciate it. My battery's getting kind of low, so I might have to charge this and start over again. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to pause it right now and come right back when I get this charged because I don't want to mess up this next trade. Be right back. Alright, guys, we're back. Uh, up next, we got a trade from my buddy, uh... Cincinnati Game Hunter, man. He hooked me up uh, with some NES box games I've been looking for for a long time. Really happy to get them. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, this was kind of a throw-in. We got an image fight. It's just a box only. So I actually don't have this game, so I need to come up with the manual on the game for that. That's cool to have the box. Uh... This next game, I've had the game in manual for a long time. But, uh, we got Godzilla. Monster of Monsters. It's complete all in there, manual. So, I was like, like I, I had the manual from when I was a kid, so I, ha I know I had this game because I used to play it, but I don't know where the hell it ever went, so. Yeah, I didn't have the game either. I got the game from BC, so I'm keeping BC's game because he uh, traded to me first. Um, these next two are awesome, man. I've been wanting that, wanting these for a while. Completing the box, they got uh, Battle Toads. Pretty good shape. Uh, what was it? Yeah, there's like a crease at the top there. A little bit on the back. Overall, man, really nice shape. Little ding down there. Definitely one of the ones I wanted in the box. Still got the uh, wrapper in there in the game. It's got all the paperwork. I think there's a poster maybe too. So, it's like complete, complete. And uh, the one I was really happy to get to was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. This one's a little a little rough. Got a little area there, but I'm happy with it, man. These games are 30-something years old, around 30 years old. So If I get a mint, another mint box down the road, I can upgrade. But other than that, I'm happy with what I got. The 
awesome thing about this one I'm really happy about is it's got the elusive letter in there from Mike Tyson so it's awesome to have that in there dear player become boxing's heavyweight championship of the champion of the world so yeah I was really happy to have the letter in there it's also got the manual Thanks, Brandon, for the trade, man. I really appreciate it. I let go of my uh, Final Fight 3 on the Super Nintendo. And a few uh, few RPG games on the PS2. I don't like RPGs, so... It was definitely worth the trade for me. Hopefully we can do some more trading in the future, man. That'd be awesome. So uh, that's it for the trades. Make sure you go check out his channel. His link, uh, link to his uh, channel will be down in the description too. He's got like 70 subs right now, man. Let's get him up to 100. All right. Uh, I still got a bunch of shit, man. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out what to do first. I'll do these box, man. You've seen the clip in the beginning. These Super Nintendo games in the box at the thrift store. But you did not see... What I didn't see at first, that was behind the counter. So uh, I'll show you what I picked up out of the ones you've seen. Picked up a Super R-Type. Really nice condition. I have it uh, right over here to the right of me, but the box is just demolished. So 15 bucks, we grabbed that. Oh, I'm going to show you what I got on the first day because I did go back. We picked up uh, Earth Defense Force. Really nice shape too. All these are complete. That was also 15 bucks. We got a uh, Darius Twin. Little little rougher shape, but for 15 bucks, man, awesome shooting game shooter games for 15 bucks a piece. And this game was uh, we got Sim City. It's sealed. Sealed. With the hang tab. This one was 20 bucks. So the first day I spent like 70 bucks there. It sucks that it's at a thrift store and you got to pay high prices. But it was decent stuff, man. So At least like when it's like higher price stuff, they'll kind of only charge you half price instead of full price. So, uh... Let's see. I'll show you the other two games I picked up. I picked these up. Alright. I don't know. I, I got to tell this story. So after I bought them games, I'm at the counter and I see two games sitting behind the counter back by the window. And I said, hey, what's up with them games? She said, oh, them are on hold for somebody. I said, they're on hold. I said, so when, when did you guys start holding stuff for people? This is a thrift store. And, uh, I said, how long have they been there? She said, since this morning. It's like 5.30 in the afternoon now. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you got to buy them at the counter because it's behind the counter stuff. If he's in the store still, hell, that's cool, you know, because he ain't done shopping yet. But how the hell are you going to save some goddamn games at a fucking thrift store? Pissed me off. I was really heated about it. Should have called the manager because I ain't never heard anybody holding shit at a thrift store maybe furniture or something but they usually paid for it and they're gonna come back and get it this guy didn't pay for this shit so uh, I ain't gonna tell you the games yet but uh, I go in there the next morning and I don't see the game sitting back there no more I'm looking everywhere I'm like man I guess he came back and got them so uh, there was two other games that I picked up there were six bucks a piece and it was a hyper zone. That's complete. And uh, I picked up Populous. I know it's not an expensive game or nothing, but it was in not really nice shape. Can't beat six bucks. Complete box. So I'm at the counter buying these games. And I happen to look down at the bottom of the case. And I see the two goddamn Super Nintendo games hiding behind some shit at the bottom of the case. Now, the cashier is, new, is a different one from the day before. 
I said, hey, what's up with them games down there? And she pulls them out. I look at them. And I bought them. She, again, she didn't know nothing about it, but... It was like they're hiding them or trying to hide them and shit for somebody. If the broke ass ain't got the fucking money, sorry about his luck. Anyways, that's my rant. I'm happy I got the games though. First up, Final Fantasy 2. Complete in box. The box is in really nice shape. I guess I'll show you guys. I don't know. It's in pretty, pretty nice shape. This was 50 bucks. Now, it should go for at least 100. So, I'm gonna, this is already on eBay. If anybody's interested, it's still on eBay. Or we could trade for a box in this game or something. But, I just gotta try to get some of my money back or something. But yeah, there's the game. Got all the paperwork. Got the map. The only thing bad about it is the manual's in kind of rough shape. But other than that, it's a pretty damn good deal. Still 50 bucks at a thrift store, but I paid it. I really wanted to get it because they were trying to be shady, it seemed like. And the next game, uh, I had this complete in box, but it was horrible. Missing the top flap. It's just really, really rough shape. We got uh, Zelda Link to the Past. You can see there they wanted $60 for it. It's in pretty nice shape. Way better than what I had. But uh, I just sold the one I had. It had the manual and the map in it. I sold it for like 53 bucks. So I paid 60 for that. And it's minty. Show you what's inside of here. We got the top secrets little book. Never been open. Got the manual. It's kind of the manual I sent the guy was better condition. I thought the manual in here was good. That kind of sucks. But we got the map. That. In the game, it's just in really, really nice shape. And it also has the poster. I didn't have it in there yet. But yeah, it's a link to the past poster in there. So, glad I got that stuff. And whoever that guy was, uh, I don't know. If you didn't have the money to get it, sorry about your luck, man. Somebody else got it. So yeah, I was happy to get those all those box games at the thrift store. I couldn't believe when I seen them in there. They also had Castlevania 4 crisp box, man. It was a crisp. They wanted 50 for it. The hang tab was stuck on the top of the box. Like, on the front of it. I tried peeling it off a little bit and it started ripping the box, which I shouldn't have did that shit. I should have waited and maybe used a hair dryer at home after I bought it, but I left it, man. It sat there for days, too. Somebody probably got it on half off the... But anyways, pretty happy about that pickup. This next picked up, I had somebody contact me. They had uh, some games for a bunch of different systems. Two of them were heavy hitters on the NES, which I was happy about. Let's get to it. I know it's been a long-ass video, guys, but I have a lot of stuff. Alright, we'll go with the junky stuff first we got a super scope for the super nintendo we got a battle clash for the super nintendo what you found the manual and we got nba courtside cruising usa these all have the games in them it's just a case and game and manual. WCW and WA World Tour. Tour Octa Dinosaur Hunter. And, uh, WWF Warzone.
Got Sega Casino on the DS. We got a uh, Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, and I don't know where it went, but I had a uh, Pokemon Blue on the Game Boy. Also, I don't know where it is. So just think of that. Get the NES stuff. We got a Game Genie. Also has a manual, kind of in rough shape, but it's cool to have that with it. And uh, these games weren't even in the pictures. He may have sent the picture and I didn't get it. So I was super surprised when I seen these in there. So four PS1 games. We got uh, Star Wars Masters of Terracos. Cassie, I don't know, man. I ain't too up on Star Wars shit. Got that. Mr. Driller. Street Fighter Alpha 3. And the best one of the bunch, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. This game's worth more than I paid for the lot, man. Right there. It was a game I didn't know I was getting. The game's mint shape. So, definitely keeping that for the collection. Let's get down to the NES games. They all got sleeves. We got the Hunt for Red October. Tetris. Skater Die 2. WrestleMania. Anybody else ever watch Scott Squash? Every time I see this game, I just think how they drew tits on him. Every time I see it, that's all I think about. We got a uh, Wheel of Fortune, Silent Service, Beetlejuice. I think I just got that one recently. A game I do not have, Star Trek The Next Generation. That's about a $20, $25 game. Oh, there it is. Found the Pokemon Blue. The anticipation is killing you guys to see what else I got. <laughs> and the final two games I got. Alright. These are really good ones. One I already have, but it's way better condition than what I already got. So, RC Pro Am 2. Really, really nice shape. Not only did I get the game, we got the manual with it. Freaking awesome. When I seen the picture, I was like, man, this guy's messing with me or something. <laughs> but, uh, here's my version. Like, the label's screwed up. So I'm gonna try to flip this, discount it. Probably pay for my lot. So, next game we got, uh, I would say this is really uncommon. I seen two for sale on eBay and they both were in the box, so nothing loose. We got the Emperor. It's a Koei title. This is very uncommon. I would say this is anywhere from like an eighty to a hundred dollar game. Just depends on the day. But yeah, definitely a tough one to come by. Happy to add that to the collection. That's another knock. Another little. Heavy hitter off the list. That's always nice to do because the NES set is just so many expensive games in it. But yeah, guys, uh, that's all I got. I don't know how long this is running, but it seemed like forever. <laughs> if you guys stuck through everything, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what I got that you liked. What was your favorite thing? Drop me some comments. Make sure you go check out my boys, uh, Bad Company and Cincinnati Game Hunter. Uh, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.